back again um, as what I said that uh, my story to be continued. So for first part uh, story ko I about life in America uh, and how I met my husband, right? Okay, so the title of my story is How I Met My Husband. Okay, so the part two is how we process our documents to get me to the United States. Okay, so as you know, na, na communicate kami ng two years. So, yung annulment ko na yet done last February 2006, but almost done at that time. But uh, it's not easy. So, we need to register if you're done. So, I don't know if uh, the consul in Manila will uh, sign my paper the, that I'm gonna annul. So, we're waiting for the final judgment in Manila. Then, after. Um, couple of months uh we received that it's all already finalized after that we're gonna register again to back to my original uh last name so not the name that last name that uh, i was married okay then uh before we met all the stuff that tom sent to me i keep it also, all my, uh, I'm going to show you all my, uh, okay, so he sent me the, remember, uh, he sent me money, so I keep all my, uh, I keep all the receipt in a folder, see, so I keep all, everything is here, do you know why, uh, being a teacher, I'm very clever, so, uh, buti ng marami kaysa um, nagkulang, di ba? So, all lahat, uh, inilagay ko sa isang folder. So, nobody told me about it. Okay, but I just, uh, in case. Then, also, we took some picture with my family. See? Okay, put in the folder. Um, then, uh, my annulment so i put also in here so then uh okay we talked since 2004 so all the emails and in all the email i keep it and i print it then uh I show this to the US Embassy. So, but the how to process that one, okay. So, Tom, um, well, when uh, we met last 2006, when he came back to the United, here in the United States, uh, he filed an annulment. Annulment? No, I'm not annulment. He filed a uh, fiancé visa for me, a petition for me, that is, um, what is that, K1 and K2, because I have my daughter, so K1 and K2, so <clears throat> he filed July, and after July, uh, I think um, it was approved November, uh, we received a letter from November, uh, on November that it was approved, so then I received a um, letter from uh, U.S. Embassy, see, last December, that I have, uh, what is that? This is um, I-797C, notice of action, that uh, my, uh, because at that time it's different from now, because it was 2008. Uh, no, 2000, yeah, it was, uh, 2000, yeah, it was 2008, okay, so, the U.S. Embassy, embassy sila yung mag, ano, mag, uh, mag, papadala ng letter, kailan yung, uh, kailan yung interview mo, so, uh, when I received, uh, 
of May of last December. Yung interview ko is February 8, 2008. So, before that one, I think one week before that, um, pumunta ako ng Manila kasi may uh, medical, medical pa. Bago yun. So, dalawa kami. Okay, so Tom yung nagbigay uh, sa amin ng uh, pamasahe papuntang Manila. So, lahat uh, in, 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 in binigay ko ka, okay, binigay ko, okay, so this one, we, okay, so my sister helped me this one, everything. So, yung, uh, what is my, uh, very, okay, this is, okay, everything in here, uh, ipinapati, eh, no, oh, no, uh, I give this to the console, and uh, Manila. Okay. This is proof of relationship. So we need to show to them that uh, this is not a this is not fake. Okay, proof of proof of financial support 2005 at present and receipt of this journal. Yun. So this is um ipinakita ko to sa kanila para to prove na ano hindi fake yung ano namin yung uh, relationship namin. Okay, so maraming paperwork uh, but if somebody is very interested to know but uh, there are a lot of paperwork also uh, to file a fiancé visa you need to uh, you need to write to the consul or to immigration uh, about the intent, uh, intent letter of Ent letter of intent uh, what is that i forgot the term with that um it is a uh, letter of intent okay i think so oh yeah letter of intent so so all the emails also here okay so during the during the interview it's not um is i get nervous but dalawa kami yung anak ko so maliit yung uh, 13 years old yung anak ko so uh, nang uh, babae yung nag interview ko consult sa Manila then um, she just asking about my personal so anong pangalan ng fiancé ko anong trabaho but iba iba yung question uh, not the same question okay so then uh, instead na ako yung kukwestiyon niya so uh, yung, she's fun of talking to my daughter because uh, my daughter is really small but she can speak a very good English so when uh, the consul said that um, if I'm gonna approve this uh, uh, this visa uh, what's your plan I know the whole plan ko. so I just uh, then she said, if I'm gonna uh, work over there, and I told her that um, as of now, because I, I need to prove that I'm not going to the United States just to work, because there are a lot of cases like that, and they don't, uh, they don't, they deny it. So I just told her that um, as of now, I don't have any uh, plan to work. I just stay as a wife but if you if there is a chance that I can work I can use my degree as a teacher here uh, in the United States okay so she asked also to my daughter um, if she can survive the the snow so meaning when I hear that one so I said okay they're gonna they're gonna uh, approve my visa so <clears throat> then, couple of minutes, uh, the the lady said that American lady said that, okay, congratulations, I approve your visa. Yeah, we're we're very happy. It's not too hard because it's only um personal question. So that is it. So I'm gonna cut this one. Uh, this is how the processing is. Then uh, the next video. I'm gonna tell you the port of entry but at the same time after we receive the visa 
uh, you have to uh, encounter the CFO so they have a seminar with that okay so after uh, that okay so there we're gonna wait for uh, the certificate okay so I'm gonna cut this video then the next video I'm gonna tell you life in America on the port of entry aware okay so thank you for watching and see you next video part three okay so don't forget to sub subscribe my channel okay thank you for watching and thank you for patient to listen my story okay bye